So I'm feeling a little bit defensive about the Jewish people. Kind of like I feel the need to defend them just a bit. The Jewish people and the Jewish people of Israel are more than its government. Just as the Polish people in Poland are more than its government. There are a lot of people in Israel who do not support the current government. There are Jewish people around the world horrified by what the Israeli government has been doing to Palestinian people, including myself. But that's not what I want to talk about. This is me transitioning into Jews and Poland, trying to transition back into Jews and Poland, because that's really what I'm interested in talking about, in the reframing of the Jewish perspective on Poland and the reframing of the Polish perspective on the Jews. What I want to talk a little bit about is why Jewish people have such a complicated relationship to Poland. Why Jewish people are so negative about Poland. And there's a few reasons for that. But I think that part of the answer is that it has not as much to do with Polish people as it does with the fact of what happened. Poland stopped being the contemporary Jewish homeland. We lost our histories. The trauma of what happened to the Jewish people was so great that it created a cloud of sadness, a cloud of hatred in and around this land. The people to blame for this cloud of hatred are the Germans, but the land, Poland, the Jewish homeland, was where it all happened. Jewish people lost everything in Poland. 90% of Europe's Jews were murdered in Poland. That number is astronomical. I, as a Jewish person, don't know my history. It's lost. It's gone. I know almost nothing about my great-grandparents. My parents grew up with no aunts and uncles. They were all murdered. There's so much pain wrapped up in and around Poland that the hatred that Jewish people have for Poland, in my opinion, is also just wrapped up with the hatred, the misery, the regret, the pain of what happened here. This wouldn't have happened if not for the German people. And along the way, the narrative about Poland got fractured. I've had a lot of comments or questions from Polish people about why the Jews forget about how good they had it in Poland. Because the trauma of the Holocaust has meant that the Jewish people lost their entire history in Poland. They know so little about what happened in Poland. We don't know much about our Jewish history, never mind our history of our relations with Polish people. Our facts are so all over the place. It's really sad. It's a very sad thing. Unfortunately, there is a legacy of anti-Semitism in Poland. There is a legacy of anti-Semitism throughout Europe during that period, but because so many Jews were in Poland, there is so much narrative about the anti-Semitism that existed in Poland. And it did exist. The Social Democrats before the war were a very difficult party for the Jewish people. There was a lot of energy on trying to push Jewish people out of Poland, particularly after Piłsudski's death. It was hard for Jewish people in Poland. It was hard for Jewish people throughout Europe. But I think what happens is Jewish people compare what their reality is now to what the Jewish reality was before the war for Jewish people in relationship to anti-Semitism. And it was worse in Poland than it is 
Now, Jewish people don't really have a sense of how much Poland has changed, what Polish people have gone through. They have pushed Poland out of their mind. And so when they think about Poland, they think of the pre-war anti-Semitic Poland, and they have no idea how much Poland has changed. Jewish people come to Poland for the Jewish Culture Festival, and their minds are blown. They can't believe that one of the largest Jewish culture festivals in all of Europe and the whole world exists in Poland. They can't believe that 90-95% of the audience are non-Jewish Polish people. They have no idea how much Polish people miss Jewish people. They have no idea how interested Polish people are in Jewish culture. They don't know about 40 years of communism. They don't know about post-communism. They don't know how hard Poland and Polish people have been working to re-become themselves. We don't know. And I believe that this lack of information, this lack of space for deeper empathy for Jewish people, for Polish people, is why there is so much cognitive dissonance. I say this in hopes that some of this information can help Poles understand why and where Jewish people are coming from. I think the reality is, and really what I've come to understand moving to Poland, is that everyone is trying to do their best with what they have, with what they know, with what they understand. That doesn't mean that everyone knows enough. That doesn't mean that everyone understands enough. But I think that our responsibility is to try to always practice deeper empathy with the understanding that no one benefits from hating each other. No one does. Nobody can win. We can only win with deeper empathy, with deeper understanding. That's why I live here. That's a big part of my mission to encourage this deeper empathy between Polish people and Jewish people because at the end of the day what I've seen is that it makes things better for everyone.